Okay guys, today we have a brand new series on the channel. I don't know how long it's going to last because I'm still working on it, but we're going to be doing how did that mystery box survive or how are they now? You know, either way, throwback mystery boxes and since I was in Vegas and now uh, this company puts their stuff in their, uh, actually put their mystery boxes in their uh, shops now, Vegas, of course we have, we had to. Torpedo Comics! This is a $25 in-shop, in-house shopping, in-house box that they sell in their actual shop. So for $25, it is sealed right there. <clears throat> I went on the website to see if they had another one, like one for, you know, like they used to do with, like, you know, here's a major book. We're selling 200 mystery boxes at $25 each. They don't have that anymore. <clears throat> they had one for 100 but none of the cheap ones. So I think this is the cheapy. Now, I think that's what they're going to be, so we'll see. They told me there was a coupon in there and at least $25 worth of books. I think they're trying to push it as a beginner. But first, these are going to be popping up all over as I do books. I'm picking these up trying to get the RWY number 7. I had a good chance this might be one that has one in it, so I grabbed it while I was at Walmart. Uh, I still have to go down south next weekend and look. So let me... Uh, Take it out and see if we get it. What is a Ruby number seven? Um, if this is it, it's going to be the base cover A. Uh, just from the coloring, I can. No, actually, I'm not, I'm not sure. Either way, we'll see. I doubt it's it, but if it has a chance to be it, I'm going to grab them if I can, just for the hell of it. <clears throat> I don't do DC, so nothing else in here will I care about. Huh. Oh, we'll just go back to front and see if we get it. I doubt we're going to get it. First one, it's like a Rick and Morty. Kind of a hard. No, it's not. It is, oh, what is this? It's definitely a variant cover of something. Uh, what do we got? Chapter nine, the end of the, what book? Hell, I don't know, it, it's, my God, I can't tell you what it is. It doesn't have a freaking anything on it to tell me what the heck I'm looking at. Let's go to the back. Do you see you're killing me here? I would love to know what this is. Oh, here we go. It's down here. Um, wow, pathetic. I can't tell you what the book is. It doesn't even say on here. Okay, well, call me call me stupid, I guess. Jesus. Hmm. Yeah, I'm staring at it. It was put out in August. Either way, it's a not a bad cover. It's a variant cover that'll work. I'm just going to put them down here because it's just not worth it. Next book up. I don't know if this is what I thought was it is nope we got this one no i don't think i got it this time oh well this one is dark knights of steel number one again nope number two i got one the other day it's just another dc book i care not about last book that it could be which i doubt another oh it is ruby number seven uh this is the variant cover uh it has a well yeah ding in the bottom corner so i did get one yay my looking was right you look on the edge of it you can tell the coloring scheme so this is ruby number seven alternate cover i've been seeing it going as low as like 10 20 or it was 20 30 dollars problem is this one looks like it took a crunch so it's worth nothing i'll throw in a mystery box for free and last bo last book of course is i am batman which i don't care so that, that is my caring about dc only if it's a joker book sometimes and is there any of the dc i like god it's terrible but oh well let's get back to it let's see over the years, everyone has complained and hated on Torpedo Comics. Gotta love his picture on the front. Looks like he's gonna beat the shit out of somebody, but oh well. So let's see. For 25 bucks, what are you gonna get? It feels pretty hefty for 25 bucks. So I really can't say it's a bad deal. Even if, They told me they were getting stuff out of the vault that they just want to get rid of. So this might be a little more, you know, upper scale, I hope. I don't think there's any major present or things. So yeah, yeah, there wasn't any major book you could actually win. It is nicely, you know, you have the torpedo, and I'm going to, we'll use this as somebody else just for fun. We'll put that in somebody's mystery box one day. And it looks like about 10 books. I can already tell the first book's crap, but hey, nicely done. Maybe not crap. The box is always reusable. And the 10 books, who knows? Could be good, could be bad. We'll find out. So, there we go. If it's a lot of DC, it could be, and 
whoops, hang on, I'm going to landslide of boxes I need to clean up. <clears throat> Not bad, easy takeaway, nice, nice packing. Blade said that they just brought the books, they brought these boxes in just a few days ago. There was three to choose from. I just grabbed one. So, the next time I go to Vegas, if it's any good, I'll pick up another one. You can get them on their website, but their shipping is $20. Seriously, a $25 box with $20 shipping. I mean, hell, I've already pre-ordered a Comic Vantage box for the series, two That Spider-Man booths, and a Box Heroes. Now, you probably go, well, we just saw you open a Box Heroes box on your channel a few weeks ago. You did, but that box wasn't like three months ago. I have stopped my, you know, monthly Box Heroes subscription, so... I don't get them anymore. The one I posted or will be posting or just went out last week is old school. So this is now, we're going to call this, have, I don't know, I'll come up with those names. It doesn't matter. It's just looking at it and seeing how over the months, you know, big box or major comic shop mystery boxes have changed. I'm going to try to find some more. So if you guys have any ones you're thinking about, I got Comic Vantage, that's my Ram booth, Box Heroes, and Torpedo. I was hoping to find another few that were just you know, 35, 40 boxes, 35 and 40 dollar boxes. <clears throat> oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna go upside down. I don't know any of these offhand. If I don't know the book, you guys can tell me. It looks like a good amount of books, maybe 10. So first of all, we have Avengers 49. It's a Deadpool cover uh, variant. So kind of cool. I mean, Deadpool. What do you want? Fear State. That's all new stuff. Fear State Batman number 115. What the heck is this? This I'll keep. This is actually a keep for the next one. It's kind of cool cover, but I don't do you see like you guys know. Next up we have, I don't even know what this flashback X-Men 1. I, it's like has Stan Lee on it. Okay, that, that, this is my keeper so far of the book. Huh. They have a price tag on the next one. Dr. Afro number 16. So, not bad. Then we have an action comics with a price tag of $6 on it of... Action Comics 1035, nothing I do, nothing I care about. DC Comics Steel, I don't know, this must be, looks like a friggin' Batman on a horse. Steel number one. Um, I don't know this one either. Made in Korea, number five. It's an image title. Uh, Mamo, what the fudge is this? I have no idea. They say $5, Mamo number five. I seriously... M-A-M-O number five. Taylor, this one's going to your box next time. Maybe you'll like this. Okay, second to last book is Killer Queens number four from Dark Horse. I don't know anything about that one. And the final one, this actually kind of looks pretty cool. I don't know if I'm going to bother keeping it. Probably won't. I don't think it's worth anything. Marvel Comics Amazing Fantasies number two. So for 25 bucks, guys, you tell me. Did they improve over the years, or is this just plain old dollar books that nobody cares about? I could say right now, all these are going to go into a $2 bin somewhere. If I do a show next weekend, these are all going in a $2 bin. I'll probably keep Afra and keep... I'm going to keep Afra, X-Men, and maybe that Avengers book. I kind of like the kind of like the cover. It's Liefeld. Oh, shit. I didn't know Liefeld was really doing stuff anymore. So it's a Liefeld cover. Of course, there's no feet. So, I don't know if he did the interior or not. This is the variant cover, but it's Liefeld. So, these are the three I'm probably going to keep out of the whole thing. So, and the rest are going into a dump bin of dollar stuff. So, really, yeah, so we had three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten books. So, average about two fifty each. I paid tax, so two sixty each. But, it's not bad. I mean, it's way better than the cover price in these books. So, let me know if I missed anything about these. Uh, I could not tell you if it is... Is anything actually good in here? So, I'm just not up to date on a lot of these weird ass titles. But, thanks for coming out, guys. And, rate it down below. Tell me down below, has Torpedo gotten better? To me, not so much. There's not even a minor key in here. I'd rather have eight books and maybe one minor key worth $10. So, but either way, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon.